Today's topic is subnet. Subnet of a net. We know that a net in a non-empty set X is a function from a directed set to the set X. And the concept of a net is the generalization of concept of a sequence. Today we will see that the concept of a subnet of a net is similar to the concept of a subsequence of a sequence. Let us define a subnet of a net. Let f x a greater than or equal to and g x b greater than or equal to star b two nets. Here a greater than or equal to is a directed set and f is a function from directed set a to x and b greater than or equal to star is a directed set and g is a function from directed set b to x then net g is said to be a subnet of net f if and only if there exists the mapping phi from b to a such that g is equal to f composition phi and for each a in a there exists small b in capital b such that phi of x is greater than or equal to small a for every x greater than or equal to star b in b. Here we know that uh, uh, greater than or equal to star is a relation which is reflexive and um, so b is always greater than or equal to star b and here we know that for each a in a there exists b in b such that phi of b is greater than or equal to a and so we can say that phi of b is a co-final subset of a if these two conditions are satisfied then we say that g is a subnet of net f now we have another definition let a greater than or equal to and b greater than or equal to star b two directed sets then a mapping psi from a to b is said to be an isotone map if and only if x greater than or equal to y implies psi of x is greater than or equal to star psi of y for x y in a that is if psi preserves binary relations in both a and b then we say that psi is an isotone map. Now uh, we have a theorem which states that let a greater than or equal to and b greater than or equal to star be directed sets and let psi from b to a be an isotone map such that psi of b is a co-final subset of a. Let f x a greater than or equal to b a net in x then we have to show that f composition psi is a subnet of f let us prove this theorem let g is equal to f composition psi clearly g is a function from b to x why because psi is a function from b to a and f is a function from a to x and so g is a function from b to x and since b is a directed set so this g is a net in x as psi is an isotone map so for x y in b x greater than or equal to star y implies psi of x is greater than or equal to psi of y and since it is given that psi of b is a co-final subset of a for every a in a there exists b in b such that psi of b is greater than or equal to a and from one it follows that for each x in b x greater than or equal to star b implies psi of x is greater than or equal to psi of b and uh, from second 
uh, here we know that psi of b is greater than or equal to a and so we can say that from second and third psi of x is greater than or equal to a for each x greater than or equal to a star b in capital B. That means second condition is also satisfied for G to be a subnet of net F. And so uh, we can say that G is a subnet of F. Now we have a corollary let A greater than or equal to B a directed set and B be a cofinal subset of let f x a greater than or equal to b a net then the restriction of f to b is a subnet of f. Let us prove the corollary as it is given that b is a subset of a directed set a greater than or equal to so b is directed by the relation greater than or equal to. We know that the identity mapping i from B to A defined by I of X is equal to X is an isotone map and I of B is equal to B is a cofinal subset of A because B is a cofinal subset of A and I of B is equal to B. So, I of B is a cofinal subset of A. So, both the conditions of the previous theorem are satisfied and so we can say that F composition I is a subnet of F and F composition I is nothing but restriction of F to B and so restriction of F to B is a subnet of F. Now we have a theorem which states that let X be a non-empty set and let F X A greater than or equal to B a net in X. Let C be the collection of subsets of X satisfying the following two conditions. First, F is frequently in each member of C and second condition is for S, T in C, there exists U in C such that U is contained in S intersection T. Then we have to show that there exists a subnet of F which is eventually in each member of C. Let us prove this theorem. Clearly C is directed by inclusion relation because C is a collection of subsets of X and so this is directed by inclusion relation. Now we define a set P containing ordered pairs of elements of the form A U where A belongs to A u belongs to c such that f of a belongs to u. Now we define a relation uh, denoted by double greater than on b as follows. For ordered pair a s ordered pair b t in b we define ordered pair a s is double greater than ordered pair b t if and only if a is greater than or equal to B and S is contained in T. We shall show that T is directed by relation double greater than. Now, the first condition uh, for the ordered pair A S in B, we know that A is always greater than or equal to A because A is an element of directed set A and greater than or equal to relation is reflexive in A. So, A is always greater than or equal to A and S is contained in S and so we can say that ordered pair A S is double greater than ordered pair A S means this relation is reflexive and then second condition uh, let ordered pairs A S B T C U in B such that ordered pair A S is double greater than ordered pair B T and ordered pair B T is double greater than ordered pair C U. And since uh, ordered pair A S is double greater than ordered pair B T, 
so this implies that a is greater than or equal to b and s is contained in t and since ordered pair b t is double greater than c q so this implies that b is greater than or equal to c and t is contained in u by definition of elements of b from these two relations uh, we find that a is greater than or equal to c since a is greater than or equal to b and b is greater than or equal to c and we know that greater than or equal to this relation is um, transitive so a is greater than or equal to c and s is contained in t t is contained in u implies that s is contained in u and from these two conditions we find that ordered pair as is double greater than ordered pair cq and so we have shown that this relation is transitive now we have to um, check the third condition that ordered pairs as and bt are in b as ab are belonging to a and a is uh, directed by greater than or equal to relation so there exists some element c in a such that c is greater than or equal to a and c is greater than or equal to b as s t are belonging to c so there exists some element u in c such that u is contained in s intersection p from the condition which is uh, given for elements of c for any two sets or to, to any two members uh, st in of uh, c there exists a member u of c such that u is contained in s intersection t whereby u is contained in s and u is contained in t as f is frequently in u from given condition 1 so for c in a there exists t in a d greater than or equal to c such that f of t belongs to u hence there exists an ordered pair d u in b such that ordered pair du is double greater than ordered pair as why because d is greater than or equal to c and c is greater than or equal to a and this relation is transitive so d is greater than or equal to a and we have already shown that u is contained in s so by the definition of double greater than we find that ordered pair du is double greater than ordered pair as and we also note that ordered pair du is double greater than ordered pair bt because d is greater than or equal to c and c is greater than or equal to p so d is greater than or equal to p and we have also shown that u is contained in t so uh, from the um, definition of double greater than ordered pair du is double greater than ordered pair bt so we have shown that uh, b is directed by the relation double greater than next we define a mapping psi from b to a such that psi of ordered pair as is equal to a for every ordered pair as in p now we show that psi is an isotone map let as ordered pair as and ordered pair bt are in b such that ordered pair as is double greater than ordered pair bt and then a is greater than or equal to b by the definition of double greater than relation and so psi of ordered pair as is greater than or equal to psi of ordered pair bt thus for order all elements uh, as ordered pairs as bt in b we uh, know that ordered pair as 
double greater than ordered pair bt implies psi of uh, ordered pair as is greater than or equal to psi of ordered pair bt and in this way we have shown that psi is an isotone map next we show that psi of b is a cofinal subset of a let a belongs to a then as a is greater than or equal to a and psi of a s is equal to a so we can say that psi of ordered pair a s is greater than or equal to a for every ordered pair a s and b thus for each a in a there exists an element ordered pair a s in b such that psi of a s is greater than or equal to a hence we have shown that psi of b is a cofinal subset of a because we have shown that for each a in a there exists an element the ordered pair as in b such that psi of as is greater than or equal to a so we can say that psi of b is a cofinal subset of a as psi is an isotone map and psi of b is a cofinal subset of a so from the previous theorem we can say that phi is equal to f composition psi is a subnet of and uh, next we have to show that this subnet phi is eventually in each member of c so we take some member suppose let u not be an arbitrary member of c and we shall show that um, phi is eventually in this member u not of c as f is frequently in u not because f is frequently in each member of c so f is frequently in u not so there exists a not in a such that f of a not belongs to u not hence by definition of b um, ordered pair a not u not belongs to b because f of a not belongs to u so ordered pair a not u not belongs to b for all a ordered pair a u in b such that ordered pair a u is double greater than then ordered pair a not u not and then from here we know that a is always greater than or equal to a not and u is contained in u not so we have phi of ordered pair a u is equal to f composition psi of ordered pair au and this is equal to f of psi of ordered pair au and uh, since psi of au is equal to a so this is equal to f of a and f of a belongs to u because au is an element of b so f of a belongs to u and u is containing u not thus there exists uh, a not ordered pair a not u not in b such that phi of a u belongs to u not for all ordered pair a u double greater than ordered pair a not u not uh, this shows that phi is eventually in u not hence phi is eventually in each member of 